alternative on YouTube. <laughs> Happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend vlog. <laughs> oh man. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Half half the day is over with already. This beauty. I love that color, man. I love that color. Um, I don't know what it is. That's that's a sexy color. Anyway, it is Friday. It is the weekend vlog. It is an unusual way to start the weekend vlog with uh, with me going through the majority of my day before I even say hello to you guys. I kind of didn't like it. It was kind of weird. I liked waking up in the morning and good morning YouTube and saying good morning to you guys, but uh, I just chose to mix it up a little bit. Just chose to mix it up. And uh, <laughs> it's busy out here. That's a restaurant. I know you can't, so well, we'll go out there. I will show you. There's people everywhere. So that is a restaurant. It has been there for, I think, over 50 years. Pretty sure. Been there a long time. And uh, people still love going there. So uh, anyway, yes, it is the weekend vlog. I know this is an odd way to start it. I didn't wake up in the morning. It, well, I did wake up this morning. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having a vlog. So, but, but I didn't wake up to greeting you to the weekend vlog. So I apologize for that. I know it was a little weird, it was a little different. But like I said, I'm trying to mix it up and uh, keep the vlog interesting and different. But this is the end of my day. This is the beginning of the weekend vlog. And I'm ready to close shop. Ready to close shop. That is the third car for the day. None of my cars today were too shabby. Not too shabby. Just just some touch up. But they they, they I love that color, man. I like black a lot, and I love my truck being black. But my truck I cannot keep clean. There's bird crap all over it. It's frustrating. It is frustrating. The inside still looks fairly good. It's just hard to keep it clean, and it's a truck. I guess it's supposed to get dirty. But uh, my second color. That I love, I, I don't know what it is about it. I just dig that color. I don't even know what kind of, what is that, like a candy apple? I don't know my colors. I mean, I know my colors like red, blue, you know. The, you know I, mean, I did go to grade school. I just don't, I mean, there's so many different freaking colors now. You can't open a box of crayons without having, you know, different odd colors. And it's not just red, blue, and green. I mean, you got like, I, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to close the shop. I'm gonna go with Michelle. It is hot today, right, guys. We had such a fantastic start to the week, and the mornings were chilly, and it was like 58 degrees in the mornings, and I'd open the doors, it was like fantastic. But when it gets hot, man, when it gets hot, this building has no airflow. And then you start like, you know, the floor's wet, because you know, you start like washing people. I think it's like a sauna in here, and it's just it's just miserable. Just, I'm, I'm sticky and sweaty again, and nobody likes that. Nobody likes sticky and sweaty. I don't like sticky. Do you like sticky? Well, it all depends. Anyway, family friendly. I'll see you in the next clip. Before I get this weekend started, I'm going to get this truck washed and I'm far too tired and lazy to go detail it at the shop. So I'm going to use this pressure washer. Alrighty. It's, it's dirty. There's fucking bird crap all over it. Frustrating. Let the washing commence. Stupid. 
bird poop. Done. Yes, now. He's done already? Kids these days. All right, guys, this is how I know the weekend has officially started. I'm showered. I showered off all the nasty, sweaty, muggy, brutal day. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Anyway, we're going to pick up the wife from work. And then the, the plan is to go into the Verizon store and uh, try to get Emily a, a new phone because uh, she's not very phone friendly. Not very phone friendly at no. all. These peeps need to see this. I'm trying to put my socks on. Ugh. What do these Look, peeps guys, need to see? She doesn't work. Yeah, because oh. she don't know how to keep a phone in her little hands. She she knows how to keep money in her hands she's for a very short her time, but she don't know how to keep a phone in her. She drops it for she wouldn't drop money. I tell you that you put money in her hands, she'd hang on to that with a death grip. But I for some reason, really for some reason, her her phone she can't hold on to. But then, but then the money only stays in her hand with a death grip until she sees something she wants, and then it's like spin, spin, spin. When I get spin, a new phone, spin, I'll hang on to it. Spin. Can I get the iPhone seven? Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Because we're we you got the iPhone six plus. That's what we're gonna 6S replace. Six plus. No, it's just the six no, plus. No, it isn't. It's a six S plus. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Do you see this? It's the same as Lexi's, and Lexi has you a six S. You want a closer S. look? I'm gonna smack you across the face. Okay. Oh, it is the weekend. Look, I've been wearing these lately. Very reluctantly have I been wearing these because, I mean, the bottoms are getting a little dirty. I, I was just, I mean, they're so nice. And, 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 oh, shit. And shout out, <laughs> sorry, family friendly. Sorry, I'll try to believe that. I just knocked my wife's vase over. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Did it break? Okay, i got to put her flower back in. Uh, shout out to Zach Stork for the shoes. Um, these have been sitting on my dresser. Almost since he gave them to me, I've worn them once or twice. Lately, I've been wearing the crap out of them because they're so comfortable and they're so nice. And uh, my other shoes are getting bad, so I'm gonna put these on too. My my fresh kicks. Wait, Dad, they're I have nice. a question. I dig them. I, I love these things. They're so nice, Jordans. Very I have nice. a question. What? So, uh, if I get a new phone, am I getting the exact same one? Um, I don't know. We gotta we gotta see what the, our hopes is that we get her her new phone is is at no cost. Our hopes is that it's still it's still it's insured. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they should just replace it. I'm pretty sure. So that that is our hopes. Oh, the hair, the hair, the struggles of long hair are real. All right. So that is our goal to go get Emily a phone because we're sick and tired of not being able to get a hold of her. And her mother, especially, it drives her crazy when she can't get a hold of her. So, uh, we're gonna go get Alicia. My messages just don't come through anymore. It's how bad my phone is. It's so dumb. Like, I literally. Don't drop it. I literally oh, have God. to <laughs> bend my phone to get it to work. Anyway, so that is the plan. Heading off to the Verizon store here in a few moments after I pick up. My fantabulous wife. Moment. We're gonna get this weekend started. I don't. I don't know if there's anything going on yeah, tonight. Yeah, should go camping. No, no, it's gonna rain. I don't know if there's any. That's next weekend. Next for sure, guys. Guaranteed, locked in. The date is set. We're going camping next weekend. No doubt about with it. With a bunch of people. Uh, with a bunch of people. Ho hopefully, hopefully our our friends um, have have gotten a tent and stuff. I think that's their goal is to get a tent this weekend. So next weekend we're we're going. We're doing it. It's gonna be a big camping extravaganza. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on tonight. I don't know if there's anything going on tonight. I know tomorrow night we're doing a big fish fry at my wife's brother's house. My hair is is doing something funky. I don't know. My hair. Anyway, uh, farted. big big fish fry at. Um... Did you just say you farted? 
Her brother's doing, uh, my wife's brother's doing a great big fish fry, and he fish, he, he goes fishing all year long to gather up enough fish to do this big fish fry. So we're going there Saturday. That ought to be fun. And then we're going to, uh, and then I, I don't know what we're doing tonight. And then Sunday, <clears throat> Sunday will probably be just, <clears throat> will probably just be a day of relaxation. And then we got we got the we got the um, we got the, uh, the the Fourth of July coming up. Fourth of July. Nope, he's sitting right there. Um, fourth Fourth of July coming up Tuesday, so we have that also. I'm gonna show my famous kitty first. He, he could be famous. I mean, look at that gorgeous. Look at he's gorgeous. Look at look at that face. Camera phone. Oh. oh. Sorry, cat. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Sure? I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, oh my God. All right. I'm, I'm about fed up with the hair. I'm not gonna cut it though. I'm not gonna do it. People keep asking me. You just gonna keep letting it grow? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I think it's awesome. Yeah. What? Like, we put all of our no. They know that be anybody that watches the vlog knows our animals are insane. I mean, top notch, grade A, prime, insane in the in 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 the membrane. They are because the cat will eat the birds, the dog will eat the garbage, Chunky will lay on the couch. It, it, it's it's we we, t we can't leave them out. We just can't. So there you have that. See you in the next clip. You just ate lunch. But I want ice cream. You think that making that face will help? I might. I, I got a story I might tell you guys a little later about a situation with my comic book. I might. Tell them now. No, I might. I might talk about that a little later. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And if I get going on it, I'm I'm gonna start ranting. So we'll wait. Going to get the wife. She wants ice cream. We'll see what happens. Hello, wife. Hi, Happy Friday. Good to sit down. Welcome to the weekend vlog. Thank you. Well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> you seem like it. You get paid tips. She got a paycheck. And she got tips. Count. She can count. It's awesome. No, I can't. There are only six there. All right. Do you need to go home and change? Probably. Sure. Okay. We're gonna do that. We're gonna head to the Verizon store, and I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing after that? Going to Walmart. Or something. Going somewhere. I just want to go to the store. Charles and Shayna, when they go to stores, they just walk around because they don't know what to do, and they get bored. Um. Usually, we go to a store for a purpose. I guess we're going to Walmart. Uh, first the Verizon store, uh, then Walmart. And uh, that, I've had a weird day, guys. Like, not, 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 I mean, it, like, I got to work this morning. I've, I've been eating like a lot of fruit for breakfast. Like, I haven't been eating like, like I was eating junk for a while, and I decided to stop doing that because I'm transitioning back into some some running and things like that. So I got to work. I had two bananas. I had my water. Of course, I had my monsters. And. I didn't. I, I didn't eat all the way all at all today up until lunchtime, and then I had like two bag. I had these little bags of Doritos and something to drink, and, and I'm just. I'm still not feeling hungry. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just not hungry. Anyway, it's weird because I'm usually always hungry. I'm not seeing to them. Maybe it's because I'm eating fruit and that's helping fill me up. I don't know. I'm not seeing to them. I don't. Do you 
put me in. chargers in here so um hold on a sec so we hit the verizon store because little miss emily back there <laughs> like i said earlier is very rough on her phone so she upgraded to um she upgraded to the black iphone 7 plus the exact same phone i have um which I'm recording. But yes, I got the exact same phone as that. And my wife upgraded to the rose gold um, iPhone 7. She, she didn't want the plus because it's too big of a phone for her. But, uh, so she got this cool case with it and everything. I show them my case. So, uh, and then the, Emily got like a rose gold case, which covers her black phone. So I mean, even, I guess you just want a black case. You wanted to put a different case on it. Anyway. So, uh, so that, that they, they got everybody, well, I didn't upgrade because I had already upgraded, but my wife finally upgraded from an iPhone 5S yeah. to a 7S. <laughs> it's been forever. She needed an upgrade. It was ridiculous. Well, these and, are the different earbuds, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're, 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 they're not the, the pods, but they're the oh, ones that, go they actually plug into, they don't, there's no, they actually right, plug right. into the, yeah, they plug into here, your earbuds do. Wait, they do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we, we went and we, we got some, like a few things we got that we needed for the house. We all got a few few summer clothes because, you know, it's new. But then I found, I have not, obviously have not collected all the loyal subjects, Masters of the Universe. They're just hard to find now. Um, but I did find these. I did find loyal subjects street fighter i used to play this game all the time actually my wife and i used to play this we also used to play we also used to play tekken um but so there is rare chase on these as well um you get the the ryu gold um the chun li um uh what is it turbo is that say turbo edition and then you get the blanca hyper fighting edition and you get the ken turbo edition um and those are those are rare chase right there. And then you get these and these. So I bought three of those. I bought, bought three of those. I'll, I'll open those at home. But before we do that, we are gonna go have dinner. Um, one of my favorite restaurants in our little local town is called Giggs. Oh, yay. I love that place. Not, not that I'm, I'm, I'm down on any other restaurant. We got a very, a very new restaurant called Live and Goods, most people mistake it for Living Good, but the guy who owns the restaurant's last name is Live and Good. So all you people who keep calling it Living Good, stop it. It annoys me. Not that you care that it annoys me, but his last name is Live and Good. The name of the, the restaurant's called Live and Good, apostrophe S, Live and Goods. So it's his last name, not Living Good. I mean, it makes sense, I understand, but that's not the name of the restaurant. I do love that place too. That, good, that guy's got amazing food, and there used to be a restaurant there that 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 just wasn't up to par anymore. And this guy is—it's fantastic. So, but but um, nothing against Live and Goods. I think your food's great, but Gigs is just my my go-to place for some some wings and some beers. I just like it. Why? Maybe we can maybe we can get some. Maybe I can get a hold of my. My uh, brother-in-law Dave and maybe him and his girlfriend and a, a go with us or something. Maybe we can find some people go out to dinner with us. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, there's probably nothing going on tonight because, like I said, we got the big fish fry tomorrow at her brother's house. He he fishes all year long to produce enough fish to have a big fish fry and invite a ton of people over. It's going to be fun, and uh, we've done it before. And 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 he deep fries it. It's amazing. It's delicious. I love it. Alrighty, we're heading home. I'll see you in the next clip.
Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Last night was fun. Um, I did not mention last night. Yeah, last night we ended up going to a campfire at our friend's house, Amy and Eric's house. Um, here's a little footage of that. And it was a blast. It, it, always, always good times. Always good times hanging out over there. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that, that was fun. Um, I just now, we just now, before I came upstairs, bought our Comic-Con tickets. Stoked about that. God. This is year two. Um, Chicago Comic-Con. Um, I'm going to be going every year. I wanted, I wanted to get, I wanted to get this signed. Lou Ferrigno. I wish Stan Lee was going to be there. He's not. As a matter of fact, I think he's almost done doing any type of appearances like that, but Lou Ferrigno is going to be there. And I wanted him to sign this, but he's not doing a uh, autograph. He's doing photo op, which would be cool too, but I really want this sign. So I'm not doing that with, with Lou Ferrigno. Um, just going to the comic con that I will get absolutely. It's going to be an annual comic con uh, video that I do every year from there because, um, I'll, I'll be going to this thing, you know, until I physically can't go anymore. I, it's it's, it's mind blows, it's mind blowing to me because it's just uh, it's 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 geek central is what it is. So uh, yeah, so do, doing Comic Con, going to a fish fry tonight. Um, my my brother in law, my wife's brother, doing a fish fry. From from what they told me, he's got like 200 pounds of fish. Uh, he fishes all year long. And stockpiles this fish to, have, to 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 do a fish fry, and uh, it's it's good, it's delicious. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun tonight. Um, here in a minute, um, trying to get everybody up and around and uh, showered and whatever, and then we're gonna go go have some breakfast. But I got some new the loyal subjects. Uh, Street Fighter. I, I totally remember this game. Totally loved this game. I used Blanca a lot. Uh, he's kind of the animal type of dude. Um, gotta find a knife. I got three of these, by the way. I, I've got to clean up the nerd cave too. Um, right here, right there, you can see that's still my bags <laughs> from the MDA photo shoot, the MDA summer camp photo shoot. I still haven't put stuff away. Between working and, and editing and graphic design and stuff, the, the, the Nerd Cave needs some attention. I've, I've also ordered three roll or three cartridges of filament for the 3D printer. So I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing um, a video of the 3D printer build of, of the Masters of, or, or of He Man's Power Sword. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do like time lapse footage of each piece uh, being being printed, and then the assembly and and, and and the painting, and and I'm gonna have 3D print a stand to set it in. So that that is definitely coming up very soon. Um, I haven't 3D printed at all this week. I, r I ran out of my red filament, and um, I haven't 3D printed anything for for a little while. But I've got. The, the color I'm getting is, it's called natural, it's like, a, I guess it's just like a plain white because most everything that I print I'm probably going to prime and paint, so, um, like the, um, the stand I'll probably prime and paint those black to hold the sword, and of course the sword I'll probably prime and paint it to look like the, the sword from the cartoon, so, so yeah, those have already shipped, so I've, I got two ABS, um, plastics, uh, plastic filaments, and I got a PLA, and I, I I printed with ABS. ABS is is what you know what printed this, and and it's very sturdy industrial plastic. And PLA I think is not as as sturdy, or or, or I don't know how to say it. I guess not as um, rigid, maybe. But I, from what I understand, it prints better. But I mean, I think this. ABS printed fantastic. So, anyway, that's what Steve does a lot. I can't find my knife. I did find the Z knife. It is out in the Maker Cave, which that needs some attention too, guys. I've been I've been shirking, man. Just screw the knife. I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna open it here. I use fingernail clippers. 
Come on. There's, where's the uh, where's the crocodile and the wife? Here it is. I found it. Um, a friend of mine, he showed me uh, from Mega Blocks. Um, Mega Blocks has, uh, you know, like the how, how Lego. What are they called? Big heads or something? Lego has like they're they're very blocky looking characters. Mega Blocks has something similar to that, but they're they're masters of the universe. They're Skeletor and He Man. Um, so that that might be something something I look into as well. He sent me a picture last night of that that Walgreens carries them. Uh, they, st a lot of, they, they do a lot of exclusives like I think these are, are uh, Walmart exclusives. It doesn't really say on it because then they had Target exclusives. Like, I don't, why do they do that? Why don't they just sell? I don't know. I guess it's marketing. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to open these up. I'm going to open these up. I'm, I'm hoping uh, to get a rare chase right off the bat which are these. That one would be awesome. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Just three of them. Open them real quick. I, I mean, I know some of you guys that watch the vlogs are probably like, Steve, we don't care about your toy addiction. We don't care that you play with toys. Well, I don't play with them. I collect them. And, and you know, people, if, if you don't care, you can skip ahead. But, you know, I mean, this stuff's kind of interesting. Very, very shiny bag. Street Fighter logo on it. If you can see it. Kinda. All right, see so who do we get. Who do we get? Um, <laughs> oh wow, these are nice. These are articulate too. Okay, I got E. I got E Honda. E Honda, the guy that does the slap, like like the thousand hand slap. Um, man, these guys are articulate. Like you would look, they got these guys got ab crunch. Like that, they're way more articulated than um. Do the Master of the Universe have ab crunch? Yeah, they do they? No, they don't. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but not like this. Why wow, these are detailed. These are E Honda. You get the card. You get the card, and, and you can get Ken Ryu Capcom Collector Edition. Chun Li Vega. Vega would be cool. Blanca. Um, then you get E Honda. You get Ken Turbo Edition. Chun Li Turbo Edition. You get Blanca. Hyper Fighting Edition. That's Rare Chase. And of course you can get the, the Gold Ryu. Um, that's a checklist. If you want to pause. And if you can kind of see that. And then you get the card. And it tells you about Edmund Honda. I'm not going to read it. Because I just want to get through this. Alright, so let's, let's try the next one. This is kind of heavy. This might be Blanca. It might be Blanca. It might be Rare Chase. If I get a Rare Chase, dude. I, if I, I get a rare chase and I, I, don't know, I don't know guys I just love this kind of stuff I love collecting I love adding to the nerd cave and uh, what better way to do it what better way to do it than subscription boxes and stuff like this okay I got Blanca it's, I don't, it's not the rare chase Blanca man these are freaking awesome these are freaking Awesome. The articulation. These are nice, guys. These are nice. Um, yeah, it's not the Rare Chase Blanca, but that's okay. The Rare Chase Blanca is the Blanca Hyper Fighting Edition, which is which is him, which would be awesome. But this Blanca looks awesome. And, and, and what, what makes these so cool is because they're bringing back like the 80s stuff. I grew up in the 80s, born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s, so this, the, the loyal subjects cater, very much cater to people of my age. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And I think this game is still out there. I think it's even, there's even an iOS version of Street Fighter, but uh, Blanca looks amazing. Out of all the ones I would wanted to get, Blanca was definitely one. He, he is a, 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 a fighter I used very often. And of course, you do get the loyal subjects um, in, insignia on the feet. So that way you know. One more. One more. This one might be a girl because it's kind of light. Maybe. Maybe it's not. I don't know. If I got a rare chase, guys, I know I, 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 I just keep saying it, but let's see, let's see what we get. Okay. 
Edmund Honda again. I got a double already. That's okay. Got Edmund Honda again. And he is exactly the same as this one. We have twinsies. We have twinsies. It could have been another colorway or something, but I don't think they have a... They only have one Edmund Honda. Um, chances for him are... Does it say? It doesn't say what the chances for him. Does it say on the box? Uh, 2 and 30... Or 2 and 12, so very... Very good chance. I, uh, Vega. Vega would be cool. This guy, he would be cool. 2 and 12 for all these guys. Um, and then the rare chase. So, so they have it. That is my Street Fighter uh, The Loyal Subjects figure unboxing um, um, uh, vlog exclusive. So, all right. Time to shower. Time to go have food. I'll see you in the next clip. Alrighty, YouTube, I think we got the family up and around and ready to roll. I think. And we may possibly be watching my grandson tonight um, after the fish fry. He may be coming over uh, so my son and his girlfriend can go do something. And we're going we're gonna to watch him all night long. So he's going to spend the night with us. That's exciting. Now, here's the thing, though. My, my, my son and his girlfriend, Danielle, are very, well, they're very brand new. Dogs. They're very brand new. Go ahead. Sorry. My animals. Sometimes. They're very brand new parents. They're very, very cautious. <laughs> I've been there. I know what it's like. So, they're very cautious about their little boy, Noah. It's not that they don't trust that we know what we're doing and that we would very well take care of him and that uh, we're veterans to this baby thing. Sort of. It's been a while. But um, <clears throat> they, they, they just worry. They worry. So he may back out. I don't know. He he. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But it would be cool. We have little Noah here for the evening. He, he'll, get, he'll get some very, very much airtime on the vlog. Anyway, it is time to go get some breakfast. We also got to go buy some new, uh, you know, like the folding kind of canvas type of lawn chairs. Mine broke last night. It was old. Not because I'm fat. Not because I'm fat. All right. We got, uh, we got Emily awake. She's looking for her kitty. So, because we got to put the kitty up. You know why. Because the cat's crazy. And we'll eat the bird. I'm going to go do food. So, so I'll see you in the next clip. Don't get your keys, Randy. Keys, check. Breakfast time, check. Wife, wife looking fabulous, check. It's beautiful outside, check. Nobody can get in the truck yet because I have the keys. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. All right. Time for food. And uh, and that's what we're going to do. And I got to get in the truck. So see you next clip. Breakfast was delicious. It's recording. Yes, breakfast was delicious. We ate. We ate breakfast with, 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 with her, her dad and mom and brother, and it was good. Very full. Very full. And I had 
way too. See, I, I stopped drinking coffee during the week, um, and uh, I make up for it on the weekend. I have four cups of coffee. That's a lot. You're gonna be jacked up. No, I'm not. I'm good. Plenty of food to soak up the caffeine. Okay. Now we gotta head to Walmart. Yeah. We need lawn chairs because, like I said, <laughs> I broke mine last night. So we're gonna do that. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm driving. All right, see you in the next clip. We got lawn chairs. Puppy. <laughs> uh, this, the other one's my wife's. This one's Emily's. The black one's mine. Where do we park? Oh, way down there. So we have, uh, we got lawn chairs. The girls, they've got this thing with uh, pineapples. I, I don't even think they know why. Hey girls, get out of the way. But they like pineapples, so they bought. We bought them some pineapple pillows, and then we got we got Noah. Since he's gonna be spending the night and and coming over and staying with us, right, you can't see it. Hold on. We got him. Still can't see. Well, that's because you won't stop. Truck's here. <laughs> okay, we're at the truck, but we got him. We got him some. Uh, some little clothes and things to wear when he's at our house so there's that and uh when we was in walmart uh a guy just comes up to me he's like where's your videos i'm like well, what are you talking about he's like because i used to make them every day he's like he goes i wait for your videos every day and he goes um i haven't seen one all week i was like yeah i, I only post on the weekends but those are cute. little little socks for noah so that was kind of cool, like this guy come up and he watches my videos and he came up and said, I didn't catch his name, which sucks, I should have caught his name, but anyway, if you're watching, which he probably will be because he's been waiting for the video, I told him it comes up every Monday because I post on the, I do a weekend vlog and that's it, so, so shout out to you for coming up and saying hi, it was awesome to meet you. It's always kind of weird to me and, and my family when someone comes up and they know, they kind of know us from watching the videos and watching like I because I post my my daily life on the weekends so they kind of know who we are yeah I've had somebody come up to me and just say hey I'm like so it, it's always weird to us when someone comes up because they watch the videos and they know who we are and it's like oh yeah it's like I don't know it's just weird to us it's not really weird to them because they feel like they know us because they watch us but we don't know who they are so it weirds us out a little bit not really I mean it's not weird like I mean I, I don't want people not to come up and say hi Absolutely, come up and say hi to us. We love it. It's just different. Like, I don't know. It's like someone to know who you are and you don't know them. It's just different. But we 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 think it's awesome. Like, we find it very awesome that that you would that you know us and that you would come up and say hi to us because you watch our videos. We like that. So don't don't not do that. If you want to say hi, we're absolutely we want you to come say hi. But uh, and if you don't want to, that's cool too. But we want to meet any of our viewers, anybody watching. I just dropped the keys. Anybody watching, we want to meet you if you want to meet us. And, and, and we just, we, we think it's cool. We just, we just find it weird. You know, it's, it's probably like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but we are definitely not opposed to it. We're def we definitely like it when you say hi to us. So don't, don't be afraid to say hi because we're nice people. And we won't, we won't get mad if you say We're all nice people except for her. Her. Oh yeah. And um, some of you have, <laughs> some of you are happy that I've cleaned the vlog up a little bit. Like I don't use so much foul language because I have a problem with that and I apologize. That's very good. Um, so it's a family friendly vlog from here on out. And there's reasons for that. One of the reasons is because Emily... Um, her, some of her friends watch the vlogs because, you know, they're her friends. So they watch. So that, that's a big reason why there's, so there's some kids watching the vlogs. So I don't want to, I don't want to use bad words and influence anybody to use bad words. And with the, with the little kids stuff watching the vlogs, I just want to keep it clean. Family friendly. And there's a little guy, um, her friend, both of their friends, Journey. Yeah. Her little brother watches the vlog. How old is he? Um, six, I think? Six years old. Six he, or seven. I think he watches because, because I did some Lego builds and stuff, and he's watched that. But anyway, his name's Brock, and he, he watches, and um, 
and uh, you know, I just want to give a shout out to him because really that's the reason I decided to clean up the vlogs. When a little a little kid like him who who watches the vlogs and he likes he likes watching them and he you know the whole Lego build stuff and things like that. We have a common interest, but that he probably well is definitely the reason I decided to clean it up a little bit because I think it's cool that he watches. I think I think it's cool that he's kind of a fan, really. Like he is kind of a fan of of the the vlogs and, and the Steve Tooley channel, and that's cool. And I appreciate that, and I appreciate him watching. So so shout out to Brock. What's his last name? Oh shit! I, I won't even give his last no. name. No. Shout out to Brock. No. And, and um, you know who you are, and, and, and thanks for watching, buddy. And we definitely need to do a Lego build together. Me and you, we need to do like a build-off, like a Lego build together. And maybe I got some Lego uh, sets at home that I haven't even built. Maybe I'll throw my name on one of them and give it to you as, as a gift. Um, not that my signature really matters, but I, I would do it just, just, you know, just because it would be cool for you. So maybe I'll do that. I, I, I've got some like, uh, I've got some Angry Bird stuff. I've got some uh, Star Wars stuff. I've got some uh, Minecraft stuff. Wh whichever one that you might want, we'll figure it out. Um, uh, I, I can sign sign it and give it to you. And, and, and so yeah, so there there's that. So uh, and we definitely Brock, we need to do a Lego build together. Something small, something that don't take a lot of time, but something that we can yeah, do a Lego those, build off. Um, Mixels. Yeah. yeah, I got a bunch of those too. Alrighty, so that was cool. I mean, the, the, the whole Walmart thing, when someone approaches me at Walmart and they're like, hey man, you know, watch the videos, I'm like, it's, it's just weird to me. I, I don't know, just imagine like someone knowing who you are that you don't know. But it's, I do, I do like it. I think it's cool that they watch and that they, that they're not afraid to approach me. This guy wasn't afraid to approach me. He just was like, hey, you know, it was like, you used to make a video every day and I wish I could still do that. Maybe this YouTube thing will, will take off to where I can I can do that. I can make videos every day and not have to worry about outside of YouTube. I can make YouTube as a living. Let's hope. But things are picking up with YouTube and people are starting to watch more and it's subscribers every day and it's all good. Anyway, we're heading home. We are going to a fish fry in about, oh dear God, it's only 11 something in the morning. So the fish fry is probably about five o'clock maybe. Yeah. So we'll be going then. And uh, I'll try to get some footage there, probably time lapse. Um, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's we got matching Pinalopa. Do, 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 is it just because? So, so here, here is what I've heard about pineapples. Th this isn't why they got them. They, they just like pineapples. What I've heard about pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, family friendly. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it. Pine <laughs> I, put laughing I, won't, I won't repeat what I said. It was total accident. I didn't mean to say pine a-holes. I meant to say pineapples. There you go. Anyway, so what I've heard about <laughs> pineapples yeah. is, is it's a hard, tough exterior, soft and sweet on the inside. That's what I've heard. But they said, no, it's because we like pineapples. <laughs> so... They just like them. Anyway, all right. See you in the next clip. We got two slushies. Okay. There's three, and ten's thirteen. All right, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Okay. You too. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'll get there. Okay, YouTube, we got stuff. We're going to a fish fry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna record vlog much over there at all. Um, I'm just, 
I'm just not gonna. Well, I don't know. Um, it all depends. It all depends on what happens, but uh, I don't know how they feel about all that. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, um, and I'm not sure if we're going to have our grandson tonight overnight. Um, I kind of explained this earlier that my son might change his mind because they're new parents, you know. We, to we totally was kind of maybe thought that might happen. He hasn't said for sure or not, so we'll see how that works out. Um, I'm not in the vlog yet. We're going to see what happens, what happens with our... Our, our, uh, our little party, our little fish fry, and uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm going to a fish fry, got a few drinks, might drink them, and uh, I don't know, I, I'm really not in the drinking mood at the moment, but that may change as well. And we're going to enjoy some company and some friends and some food and possibly some drinks, and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay? YouTube um, oh, my son finally decided to allow his son <laughs> to spend the night look I get it they, they're new parents they it's it's nerve-wracking to leave your little one overnight and they love him so much and, and and my son was just having a hard time with it and and he had a hard time leaving to to leave him here and he's like oh he's so, just so freaking cute and he's like all right okay we're gonna go and he goes but we're gonna be here first thing in the morning to pick him up and so I understand. I remember having him, and uh, if we ever had to leave him for any amount of time, it was tough. But uh, you know, they're, they're, they they want to go out and they want to have a little fun. They want to wind down. They want to relax. I get it. Him and Danielle, um, they haven't left this little guy with you know anybody overnight since they had him, and you know they just want to go and I mean they're young. They still want to go and have a little fun. And and hey, I have, I see nothing wrong with that. So finally, finally they decided, man, they went back and forth so many times, at least five or six times. Yeah. They went back and forth. Okay, we're going to bring him. Okay, we decided not to go. Okay, we're going to bring him. No, no, I think we're just going to stay home. And finally, he's here, and we're happy to have him here. He is precious. He is precious. It's, it is it is mind-blowing that this little guy is part of me because my son because my son is part of me and and he is another generation in the Thule family and and uh man he is precious and that I am a grandpa the fact that I am a grandpa gosh I'm still wrapping my brain around that and 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 she's an aunt she's 12 years old going to be 12 years old in July and she's an aunt I, I, it's it's amazing. It's a blessing. It feels incredible to have this little guy in our lives, and I'm happy to have him. I'm happy he gets to spend the night with us. <laughs> That's his first, his first voice debut in the, uh, in the vlog. He said something. He said, he said, give me my pacifier, Grandma. Ice Chunky's in the kitchen being a baby. I can't get him to shut up, so I'm gonna have to go quiet him down. I farted. Hey, uh, Okay, that's disgusting and nobody needs to know that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am going to end the vlog for the night and I will see you in the morning. Um, we, we're we're going to hang out. Uh, my, my wife and I haven't had a newborn in the house for a very long time. Well, since uh, 11 almost, years ago. Almost 12, 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Um, n n newborns are up and down all night long, so this ought to be interesting, but uh, it's worth it. It is worth it to have our little grandson here with us. Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. The fish fry was fun. The fish fry was delicious. Um, but hey, get the cat out of there. Get that freaking cat out of there right now. Oh. We haven't baby-proofed the house enough. We need to wrangle up animals. and. My cat can't be locked up all night. No. But the fish fry was delicious. Her, her, her brother spent many hours fishing for 200 pounds of fish and and and, and he oh, it's, it's so good so good delicious loved it loads of food loads of people um it was a good time uh he and i and alicia had sat down for a while and just talked and 
and uh, uh, you know we, we we don't get a lot of time with her side of the family. We don't get a lot of time with much of the family just because life's busy. Um, her her brother's very busy. He's a construction worker, so he's he's always busy. And so it was nice to sit down and have some one on one time with that side of the family. And uh, we appreciate the invite and we appreciate the food and the you know and it's just a good time. So. There you have that. That was our Saturday, and it was a fantastic Saturday, and it's ending amazing. Grandma is in heaven at the moment, holding her little Noah. She's a good grandma. She's She was a, a killer mother, still is. Probably the best mother on this planet, as far as I'm concerned. I've seen how she's raised our children and how good she is at it, and she's going to be an asset to this little guy's life, no doubt. He's uh, a... <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, guys, we're going to enjoy our little grandson. He's cuter than me. I mean, oh, can he you is, believe that? He is precious. He is precious. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's like, no. Oh, he is something else. <laughs> it's just, still mind blown. Still mind blown. That That's... That's my, my son's son. That's your nephew. Life is weird sometimes, but I mean, that is not my nephew. That's your grandson. This kid. That's your nephew. Yeah, All right, guys. I'm going to end the vlog for today. I will see you in the morning. It's probably going to be a long night. <laughs> I'm, I might need coffee. I, 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 uh, I fall off my coffee streak on the weekends. I am a weekend coffee drinking warrior. So the I weekends I get coffee. And you might need you might need coffee in the morning. I might need coffee like midnight. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the morning. Two hours feeding him. <laughs> She's tired, but gosh, he's so cute. Something else. I think him and Grandma had a special bond. <laughs> she got pictures of him smiling at her and looking at her. He's amazing. It's just incredible. This little guy is one of my baby's babies. I know, I know. It just, just, it just blows my mind. I gotta talk more quiet. You gotta wake up. So my son's gonna be here a couple hours. About an hour to pick him up. <coughs> they survived their first night without him. <laughs> and he survived without them. But they'll be ready to have him back soon. 
And then we won't want to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just the cutest thing. He's going to wake up. How do you do? Good morning. Happy Sunday. We're going to spend a little more time with this little guy before he leaves us. of the night actually all night no one I have spent the morning together I've changed two diapers I fed him I've burped him it was a bit of a task but we got through it and now he's just he's just chilling you just chilling with grandpa <laughs> looking around being cute as always <laughs> uh. This is mind boggling. That this is part of me. <laughs> it's, uh, I have to say that it's, I don't know, it's been, well, practically almost 12 years since we've had a newborn baby and had to take care of a newborn baby, but it all comes right back to you. He's awesome. I think his mommy and daddy are going to be here in a little bit mm -hmm. and pick him up. And then we're going to miss him. But uh, we'll see you soon, won't we? We'll see you soon. <laughs> Say, see you in the next clip. Don't camera punch. No, you don't camera punch a baby. <laughs> Especially this one. He's too cute. <laughs> You just chill him with gravel. Look at this little foot. Look at this little foot. He's not so little. No, he's got big feet. But it's cute. His little toes. They're adorable. And you got this guy. Noah Dean. My favorite grandson. <laughs> Okay, my son gave us this because he got they got so much stuff when uh, they had a baby shower. This was like an extra little bouncy seat, so he gave it to us um, to have here for when Noah spends the night. So, oh, we're gonna put it together and we're gonna see how Noah likes it.
mean, he might like it. I don't know. He's He looks comfortable, and he's just snoozing. So he, if he wakes up, he might not like it. But as of right now, and then you, we got to put batteries in it, which I didn't have. i got to go get some. You put batteries in it, does it play music and, like, vibrate or something? Yeah. So, yeah, plays music and vibrates. Makes him comfy, cozy, and listens to some lullabies and goes to sleep. But he's, I tell you, he's a good kid. He's just, he, hardly any crying. Just a, just an excellent baby. baby we got dinner going. Emily helped. Crock-pot dinners on Sundays, man. Those are delicious. Roast. Yummy. Put all sorts of veggies and taters in there. Did you put the taters in there? Well, last time you got too squishy. Oh. Gotta wait. Okay. And then my son said he's on his way. He just woke up. He's gonna shower. Him and his, his girlfriend, Danielle, and they're gonna come over and pick up little Noah. And we're gonna miss him so very much. But, uh... These are cherished moments, that's no doubt. Hanging out with that little guy all night, and just he's, he is something else. Perfect little angel, and that's no joke. He is, he is an amazing little baby. Not just because he's mine. I think a lot of people would say he's an amazing baby. Doesn't cry through the night, eats good. Man, that kid will eat. He, he looks forward to his next meal. So, um, once my son gets here, I'm gonna run and grab some food. Uh, for breakfast, wherever I think we might all go and get some breakfast and then um, And then see what happens with this day probably not a whole lot my, my wife's goal today is to just sit and chill and not do a whole lot of anything uh, We say that all the time But we don't always carry through we always end up finding something to do check out my Bob Bob Ross shirt <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of a joke. It's kind of a joke, but um, anyway, uh, it, it kind of goes along with, I mentioned it, I think I mentioned in the vlog a while back that I was doing a comic book, and um, I've got this great comic book idea, I'm going to be working with a, a publishing company called Silver Phoenix Entertainment, and, and working through them guys to get this comic book published. I acquired an artist, the artist couldn't do the work, um, just didn't have, have it in him to, to get it done. Um, uh, I've been waiting for a few months, um, what I needed from him was some artwork to to um, submit with the storyline it months went past I couldn't get any artwork finally he told me I just can't do it I said fine I'll get another artist so that's that's uh, what's going on uh, another artist uh, moving things along this comic book um, is just the start of, of probably some other ideas great ideas I have and the cool thing about knowing some people um, maybe in the industry a little bit knowing some people in the industry is that uh, I can carry this probably as far as I want to go I mean if, if, if the storyline is good and the comic book is good and, and, and it does well then I'll write another one and, and, and we'll, we'll do that again you know and, and this is something I mean Stanley is is, is like he's I'm a huge fan just a big fan of Stanley and that's what he has done in the comic book industry he has conjured up heroes and characters and villains and 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 made marvel comics something incredible and i aspire to be kind of like that i want to write comic books now the first one i'm writing is a horror genre comic book and i'm really into horror and horror movies and so this horror genre comic book i think is amazing um my first artist thought it was too dark <laughs> um I, I don't think he understood that his job was to just do the artwork not to critique the storyline he thought it was too dark and sinister or what have you uh so so it, it was probably a relationship uh in the way of of a comic book writer versus artist relationship that wasn't going to work out anyway um, he he had opinions on it, and 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 his opinions weren't needed. His his artwork was, and that never got produced. So, so um, that that that's just not going to work out. I'm going to acquire an artist, and and uh, or it's have acquired an artist, and should. and um, and and we're going to push forward with this comic book. It's going to be amazing. And this little kid, she is she has been doing that one. She's been she's been doing photography and and the thing about a photographer, um, they probably can't see him very well. The thing about a photographer, the, I'll tell you though, those those pictures for a tw uh, uh, not even a twelve year old should be twelve in, in this month. 
uh, at the end of this month, but her pictures are incredible. Her per perspective. So, so the thing about a photographer, in my opinion, the thing about a photographer, anybody can go out and snap a picture. It doesn't make it a good picture. It's what the what the photographer envisions that picture to be and makes that happen through the lens of his camera, his or her camera. Um, that's that's different, unique. Uh, anybody can like. She snapped a picture of this tiki torch. Anybody can snap a picture of a tiki torch. It doesn't make it a good picture of a tiki torch. Her picture is is the perspective and the way she did it, and she she actually used lighting for for her benefit to make the picture. It just it's it's incredible. Like I I, I I'm. I'm blown away that she has got just this skill to to and a vision to be a photographer, and it's fantastic. And she's that's she's probably going to be a great one. Um, I think it's awesome. Alrighty, guys, we've had a fantastic weekend, really a fantastic weekend. Um, the 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 weekend for a lot of people isn't over. A lot of people have Monday off and then Tuesday off. Um, I have to work Monday. I'm taking Tuesday off. Uh, for 4th of July to go see fireworks. I will probably make a video because I do every year uh, of the 4th of July and the festivities and the things that we do. I think we're changing locations this year. Um, there's a town uh, 10 miles over. It's called Shinoa, Illinois, and they have put on a fantastic fireworks show. And we go there every year and we, we sit you know, up close and watch. Um, uh, some friends of ours are going to a town... Um, probably another what 10 15 miles away called Sibley Illinois and um and I hear that they put on a fantastic fireworks show and I've never been to it so I think we're going to change it up a little bit this year and go to that and uh and see how that goes um for what I understand it's it's really good and they've they've really improved over the years so so there's that that is going to be our Tuesday I will I will I do an annual uh, 4th of July video. I do an annual video on the Steve Tilly channel of every holiday, really. Uh, probably not. I don't think I do Thanksgiving, but Christmas, um, 4th of July, Halloween. Uh, I love doing Halloween videos. Love doing Halloween. I could, if, 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 um, if I had my choice in path in life, I would be, I would help write, produce, and film horror movies. God, that would be amazing. And I would be a comic book writer. Gosh, I'm going to make these things happen for me. I'm 45 years old. I've got a big, long span of life left. And by the time I'm 95 or 7 or however Stan Lee is, um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll be in his position. And uh, i just seen a picture of him at the premiere in L.A. for uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which that movie looks freaking fantastic. And he's there. And, you know, because that's his creation. And that's, and, and they're, oh, it's just, Stan Lee... You're you're my hero. You're you're amazing. You're a talent. You're that's why I got a giant painting. That's why I have that painted by John Jansky. Amazing. Well, John's an amazing artist. Stan's an amazing human being. Um, my son just showed up. I was up here cleaning up the nerd cave a little bit. My son just showed up to pick up Noah. I'm going to run downstairs, hang out with them for a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'm going to get hungry and rumbling my tumble and eat some food. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. Thanks for letting me Bye. show you this. It was awesome. It was so happy. From the sounds of it, he had a good time. <laughs> yeah, did. We, we did too. He hasn't been cranky so long. <laughs> <laughs> now he's leaving. Hey, what does that say? We did good. See you guys. See you. Bye. Bye. Guys. All right, YouTube. It is almost lunchtime. <laughs> my, lunchtime. my son and uh, his girlfriend just left with Noah. We're going to miss that little guy. We had so much fun uh, babysitting him last night and, and having him here. I love him so much. Now it is food time and we need some food. So we're going to go get some food and uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do the rest of the day. Probably not a whole lot of anything because my wife is very tired. She spent most of the evening... I woke up off and on, but not as much as her. She spent most of the evening taking care of little Noah, and she's tired. So we'll probably just sit home and do a whole lot of nothing and relax a little bit. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next clip. But I will see you in the next clip.
part of YouTube. My uh, my son's car broke down on the side of the road. We just got him up and running. All's well. Uh, the Danielle and the baby didn't have to walk anywhere or anything, so um, we're uh, we're happy about that. <laughs> Emily just Snapchatted me from that the back. Really <laughs> so yes, uh, that was just a. That's what happened when the camera went off. My my son's car broke down. He called me up. He's like, Dad, I'm stuck. I said, All right, so we got him going. He's he's heading back to Danielle and Can you tell them Noah. Noah, yeah. Um, someone gave him a ride from where he broke down to town. He he went to his girlfriend's mom's job, grabbed her car, went back, picked Noah and Danielle up, and took them into town to this restaurant and so they were safe and fine and we got his car going and and uh and he said now and the guy who picked him up he said people just kept blowing past him blowing past him wouldn't stop guy pulls over and picks him up and he's like hey man can i give you a ride and he was like yeah and he was like what's your name and he told him he said what's your dad's name and he told him he's like i know him and, and we, we call we know the guy is smitty and uh I've known him for, gosh, for a long time, and I know he never watches these videos, but if anybody watches these videos that knows him, tell him I gave him a shout out, because that was a very nice thing to do for my boy. And you didn't even know it was my boy, but that's just kind of, I was telling Stevie, that's kind of the generation we came from. Our generation would stop and help anybody, and nowadays people are just like, nope, because people don't trust people these days. People are afraid to stop and help someone. They're afraid because, you know, you just never, the world's gone crazy. So it's just unfortunate that, like, People are afraid to stop and help someone when they see him like pushing a car down the highway. For one, <laughs> he was pushing a car. For two, and maybe they didn't know this, but he had his son and his his girlfriend in there. So it was like, but I, shout out to Smitty for stopping and, and helping my son out because that was awesome. And uh, we, <laughs> I told my son, I was like, we've all been there. We've all broke down on the side of the road. He's like, that's what your friend Smitty kept saying. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Anyway, that was cool. That was, I mean, not cool that he broke down. That always sucks. That that never feels good, especially when you're, you know, you you're trying to keep your wife and your son safe. Uh, he's got a little baby, and, you know, and that's always a bummer. But he's up and going, and everything's fine, and, and uh, it's all good. So, alrighty, guys, that is our Sunday. That is our Sunday, and we're gonna head home. Uh, my wife need, is, needs a much earned nap. She. I go to the pool. She, uh, she, of course, she's going to the pool with her oldest sister, our daughter Shayna. But uh, my wife, my wife played grandma very well last night. <laughs> she did very well. She's, I mean, I woke up occasionally while she, you know, while she was dealing with him. I didn't wake up and actually deal with, with him. I just woke up while she was. Um, I, I, I took over this morning um, so she could try to try to sleep. But uh, uh, she was up up and down every two hours. Had to feed him things like that. So. Loose gravel. Hold on. Ah. Okay. They tell you loose gravel. Like yeah. They, 10 feet they put a loose they put a loose gravel sign literally ten feet before a big patch of loose gravel. Uh, I don't know. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the Steve Tilly Channel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the weekend vlog. And uh, stay tuned because I am going to absolutely put together a Fourth of July video um, uh, again this year. So that'll be coming out sometime this week, maybe Thursday, something like that. We'll see how it works out. I've still got video work and graphic work to, to knock out too. Uh, so much stuff going on in the way of work and, and, and earning a living. But uh, I'm a busy man. Let's just say that. I'm a busy man. And working on the comic book, still that's in full swing. Comic book is going to, it's going to happen. I guarantee that. Wait, Stay tuned for that as well. Can I this real quick? Uh, they're not going to be able to see it from no, phone to phone. it's not a picture, it's a video and it's hilarious. No. It's not of me. Not right now. Not they're not going to be able to see it from phone to phone, kid. It's on Lexi. Okay. Thank you for coming to Steve T Channel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Weekend Vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye, fam. Bye, fam. See you in the next one, guys.